What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, episode 42. Here we are in the church, about to talk to uh, Marquise here to continue on our quest line. I'm going to go ahead and get right into that. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It's almost Christmas, everybody, if you believe. If not, then that's okay, too. I'll just say uh, happy holidays. And it looks like we're actually going to get a level 34 weapon. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Excuse me, Kiara, do you have a moment? It concerns this broken hole, what, what? Pearl Lodge, which was found in a pocket of a man brought here for burial. There's something familiar about it, but just what I cannot say. Perhaps if you, perhaps if I tinker with the device, it will come to me. However, I like the proper tools to do so. I would ask that you journey to the Camp Drybone in my steed and obtain a bullpoint chase and a pair of needle nose pincers. They are often used by goldsmiths, so perhaps they would be the best people to ask. Of course, I do not expect you to foot the bill. Here, take this coin purse. That should cover it. Oh. Uh, I'm the Aaron Cat Neko person again. Okay. This time we're going to remember where we, uh, where we came from. <laughs> so I don't go around in a circle again like I did in the last episode. Okay, so the exit is to the northeast. Okay, gotta remember that, everybody. Northeast. Wee, wee, woohoo! Oh yeah, that's some skill right there. Hey, goldsmith, how's it going? Oh, I didn't read that. I'm sorry. Oh, right, y'all can pause and read it if you want. Thighs bells. I mean, yes, this should suffice for payment. Nice doing business with you. Heh <laughs> heh. Um. Dude, I think I just got ripped the fuck off. Okay, northeast, northeast. Wait, can I even get back up there? Yeah, I can. <laughs> there we go. I mean, I know you're shy, man, but come on. You could have at least, like, went down there. All right. Have you brought the tools I requested? Yeah, and you got ripped off for it, man. I'm just, just letting you know that ahead of time. But there you go. <laughs> hmm, something occurs to me, please. Please wait here for a moment. Well, I don't know why I said please twice. <laughs> It was for naught. Though I repaired the device easily, the sensation that stirs within me remains a mystery. So not only did you get ripped off, but the stuff you bought was for nothing? But how? How did I do it? These hands, my hands, they move with a mind of their own, deftly manipulating the clockwork mechanisms. There was no doubt or uncertainty. I knew exactly what to do. As though I had performed the motions countless times before. Pardon me, Kiara. This was a mistake. Please give the Hologuard to Sister Ilun. The man who once owned it is currently in her care. And I think it best that it will be returned to him. Enable text auto advance. Uh. Oh, no. I must have accidentally hit something. <laughs> I had to cough for a minute there, so I muted the microphone. I guess I must have hit a key or something. I, I'm, I'm sorry. If I have to talk to this guy, I'm not going to be able to do anything with a straight face. So, yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> Good day to you, madam. Have you come to pay your respects to this man? I hope it's not the one behind you. Never before have I seen such a queer device. Hey, the text says it. That's not coming from me. You say that it measures the passing of time. Mayhap there are more common in Garland. I am given to understand that the cities are filled with all manner of amazing technologies. Marquis said that it belonged to deceased. Oh dear. You don't suppose we might have been a Gillian's, Garlinian spy? 
It may behoove us to notify the authorities in Camp Drybone. But mayhap, more importantly, how did Marquise manage to repair this device? I knew he had a talent for the trades, but this goes far beyond mending fences and throttling roofs. Well, probably because he's Garlenian. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, Oak Longbow. Okay. It's a little bit better than what we're wearing right now. We'll go ahead and replace that with our main hand. Alrighty, we'll update. Boom. Boom, boom. It's a pretty good upgrade, bow. I recognize you now, Kiara. Allow me to express my deepest condolences for those who lost their lives in the attack. I apologize if discussing this upsets you, but you should know that the bodies of the comrades are presently being removed from the walking sands and prepared to be for transport here. If you wish to leave this work to others, I understand, however, taking part might help you find closure. Uh, not really. Not really one for dead people, but they are our comrades, so I guess we better go help them out. And once again, Shibby goes the wrong way. Ha ha. I was looking at the the blue arrow down there instead of the quest mark. My bad. Sorry. Woohoo. Oh man, that was a good jump, man. Good jump. I, I I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? I'm getting lost. What the hell am I doing? Boy. And to think, this is not me without even any alcohol. <clears throat> now, mind if I'm drunk playing this. Hey, there's, there's a good idea for a side blooper episode. Drunk swag plays Final Fantasy. Let me know, know if you want that in the series. <laughs> I'll make it happen. Although I do have a rather high tolerance, so, you know, it may, it may take a while. Alright. I say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, you don't look like them one of them church fellows. Not that I'll turn you away, no sir. As you can see, we've got a pile of unidentified bodies over yonder. No one's come to claim them, so off to the lich yard they go. Be thankful you didn't have to go inside and see the carnage for yourself. To a stuff of nightmares, I tell you, goddamned Imperials. I spit. I'm not really gonna spit, guys. Come on. It's, I like my keyboard right below me. I'm like, oh, there. Like, damn Imperials. Yeah. I don't know what quarrel they had with these folks, but I sure as hells don't want to know. The sooner we put this behind us, the better. Well, hate to break it to you, dude, but I did see it. Say, ain't I seen you around here before? Or did he just have one of them faces? Ah, never mind. Any road, there's a carriage come to haul the bodies to the lich yard out by the east gate. There's only eight left to load up, but seeing as how I'm exhausted from the carrying, all the others, I might leave it to a reminder of you. Might want to cover your nose while you work. Some of these folks starting to turn. Ugh. Actually, guy, even though it's just a game. Oh my god, this is... This is just depressing. Gather the corpses. Ugh. They even have to say corpse. Oh, my comrades, you fought bravely. And I shall avenge you. Gather the corpse. Okay, corpses in this case. All 
All right, there's the coach. What happened to the big fella? I oh, forget it. I'll just bring the next batch and toss them in the back. Ain't like they'll complain if you're rough. Dude. Well, you guys have, like, no respect. Well, ain't you a strong one. Four in one trip. Reckon there's no need for me to lend you a hand with the rest, then. Oh, that is so cool. I want to fly him out like that. That's awesome. All right, guys. I'll put those up too. Like when if I go hunting for mounts and everything, so I'll I'll put that in the series. It'll probably be a separate little snippet. But maybe as I uh, if I do the drunk episode, I'll just we'll just be doing like a bunch of random shenanigans and stuff. So let me all know what you think in the comments. If you guys want that, if you don't want that, you know, let me know. Oh, he's got the, the car from Final Fantasy 15. That's cool. That game was, like, I, I know I put a few episodes up on here, but it was... Yeah, I mean, I beat it. I, maybe I should have just went through the playthrough, but it was kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I, I, I enjoyed it, and I didn't enjoy it at the same time. Come on, come on, let's finish this before I die of old age. Bro, really? This should be all of them. Thanks for the help. Reckon it won't take long to deliver these corpses to the lich yard, even though you might want to hurry back and tell them that our work is here is done. And speaking of Final Fantasy, I might have to just bite the bullet and buy myself a PS5 if I'm going to play Final Fantasy 15. Or not 15, 16. God. Although I heard it was supposed to be all cross-platform, so I hope, I hope that's true. I hope that is true, and I'm going to run damn way again. Oh, and it's raining. Wow. That's a big storm. Oh, no, and we're, gonna, we're going into the rain. So, I got to find out more information. But, hey, if you all know if it's going to be exclusively a PS5 title or not, let me know. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh, wow. They're like all shivery and cold and everything. I uh, love the wind effects. <laughs> I see you decided to heed my advice. I pray that in doing so you found some small measure of peace. No, actually, I'm pretty fucking pissed. This guy's had no respect at all. The first carriage from Vester Bay arrived not too long ago, and we have begun preparing your comrades for burial. I had a hand in the initial rites, and I, I would like you to know that for many, death came quickly. Rest assured that we will treat them with the utmost respect. Well, thank you. At least you guys are going to do. And do everything we can to spearhead them to Thal's realm. Showers. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's actually a really good... Yeah. Wow. Linen bandana. That's actually a good piece. Although we can't perform the rites for most of the science, there is one whom we cannot accept. We would like you to turn this one to her people, the Sylphs of Little Solas. It is only proper that she be given into the care of her friends and family so that she may mourn her in accordance with the Sylphic traditions. Bury me not the lone Piri. Turn Norexia. And I like Norexia. All that. Well, it wouldn't be a Final Fantasy game without some emotional distress. Still sad, though. It's going to be a sad episode. But I'm not going to cry. So I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> sniffle, sniffle. Alright. Let's stag up and go to the Sylphs.
Comoxio. This one is surprised to see walking one in Little Solace. How can these ones assist walking one? Um, I'm sorry for your loss. <gasps> no, Axel, but this one does not understand. Come, Axel, this one heard much wailing. This one would know what has caused such distress. Terrible news, Elder One. Awful news. Walking One has returned to Little Souls, but why? These ones have not requested for their aid. Naraxel, how did this happen? Explain everything to this one at once. So not only reacts, but many of Walking One's friends were lost as well. Naraxia. I don't know why I keep saying X. It's a S sound. Nerasia went to Thanalan at the behalf of this one. Walking one was with Nerasia at the end. Tell this one Nerasia was brave. Tell this one Nerasia did not suffer. This one is glad to hear Walking One's words. Thank you for bringing Nerasia home, Walking One. Those ones also wish to thank praying ones. Tell praying ones that these ones will remember their kindness. This one damned demands vengeance. Imperial ones must pay. Imperial ones must suffer. When the time comes for walking ones to face imperial ones, do not forget these ones. These ones would not have Noresia's death be for naught. These ones will fight. There, that's the spirit. That's what we need to hear. Yeah, fuck the imperials. All right, let's uh, go back and turn this in to Thanalan. Go back to Camp Drybone. Ah, <laughs> a lot of teleporting now. Lots and lots of teleporting. Haha, see, I'm not getting turned around and lost this time. I know where to go, everybody. Woohoo! I know exactly where to go now. Up the wooden ramp. <laughs> Man, it's still raining out here? Enough with the rain. Jeez. Enough with the rain. I like rain. I don't like driving in it, but I love I love it when it rains. Get to make some hot chocolate, you know, snuggle under the blankets. Perfect sleeping weather. We thank you for your service to the church and to the sylphs. You may be pleased to know that in your absence we entered the remaining scions in the lich yard perhaps you will still wish to do more for your friends if so i would remind you that you have already done so much on their behalf please take a rest and set aside your burdens for now kiara oh i will definitely take those no not my inventory my armory What is it with me looking like a damn pirate all the time? Alright, where to next? Eyes on me. Okay, inside. Oh, and new pants too? Oh, we're getting a whole new gear set. Got the bow, got the headpiece. I'm not imagining Kiara. I know I'm being watched. This is different, sinister. It's it is as if I am under observation. The feeling comes and go, but I felt it when I last ventured outside. Yes, I know I felt it. Will you look outside for me, please? It will only take a moment. Why right, you scared of a little rain? I don't know, dude. Are you being watched? You were being watched. Get 
it ever gonna catch me? Well, there you go, buddy. You were being watched. Hmm. I guess I owe you an apology. All right, let's go ahead and go back up there and say, man, dude, you were right. Imperials. There you go, Marquis. You were right, man. You were attacked, weren't you? Are you unharmed? Thank the gods. I knew it. He was watching me. But why was he watching me? What did he want with me? Did he perhaps know something of my past? If only I could have asked him. I, I need to think. Please allow me a moment alone. Wait. Father Illid must hear this. Will you tell him for me? It's important. I think others may come for me again. Something tells me he used to be an Imperial. Got amnesia. This guy found him and took him in. Heavens forbid that such a thing should happen on holy ground. Do you have any idea who this man was? Did you notice anything distinctive about the grab of processions? Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's an Imperial. This this is Garlinian still, which means the man who was watching Marquise was... They hate to camp Drybone at once. We must summon the immortal flames before this, before more Imperials come. Yeah, I'll just take that pants. Thank you. fondly hoped that I might be the first to speak with you. Would that I had been so fortunate. At ease, adventurer. I come not on behalf of the Empire. On the contrary, I mean to revive the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. And to that end, I have come in search of a legend. The greatest engineer of our time, Master Sid Garland. I have come for you. I fear you are mistaken, child. He is but a poor soul who bore witness to the horrors at Cartano. I beg of you, leave us in peace. Wait, I... <sighs> Hear me, Sid. Eorzea needs you. Sid, was it? Here. These belong to you. I thought you bore the mark of greatness. It seems that I was right. Our time together was all too brief, but it felt as though my son had returned to me. You have brought joy to an old man's life. It is time for you to help those who truly need you. Who are you? Alfino Leveilleur, at your service. As a scion of the Seventh Dawn, I stand against our primal and imperial foes, as my grandfather once did. Tis no secret what befell our order at the Waking Sands. Word has already spread across Eorzea. The repercussions are far greater than you realize. In the wake of the Calamity, the three city-states focused their efforts solely on reconstruction, leaving the scions to combat the primal threat unaided. And lo, we are all but destroyed. 
Yet even as the nations mourn our demise and abandon what little hope they have left, we cannot forsake our duty, now least of all. The Ixal have summoned Garuda once more, and she torments the people of Kurthus as we speak. Her appetite for destruction far exceeds that of other primals. Worse, in her present incarnation, our Baldessian colleagues believe she surpasses both Ifrit and Titan in strength. Yet, therein lies an opportunity. Were we somehow to defeat Garuda, it would serve as a warning to the other beast tribes that even their mightiest gods can be felled. If we are to face our foe, we must first circumvent the tempest that shields her sanctuary. And for that, we need an airship. Your airship, Sid. I... I have an airship? Yes, Sid, you do. Your very own airship. It was last seen in the skies over Gridania, not long before the Calamity. So let us begin our search there. Uh, an, an airship? Uh, my airship? Oh, wait. Let us put an end to the primals. Together, we will show the world that the Scions are still a force to be reckoned with. Nice. Alright. Played by indecision. He who waited behind. Next main scenario quest. Alright. What is a curi curious twist of fate that Master Sid Garland would at least be found within our church? It defies imagination. Beg your pardon, Kiara. You wish to find his airship, yes? I know not how much truth there is to it, but there is a tale known as the Final Flight of the Enterprise, which grew popular in the wake of the Calamity. Much like the Great Goru Wall of Ulda, it states that the Enterprise flew northwest from Gridania towards Corthus. It's true the airship would have passed through the North Shroud, likely over the fall ground float. The closest settlement to Corthus, may have the serpents that st God, may may have the serpents that station there have records of the events that transpired that day. I had hoped you might find rest from your journey for a time, but I see that word still needs you and the scions. Pray look after yourself in Sid Kira. Fuck yeah, we got Sid. Wow, that's a tall character that's a pretty tall character indeed all right well wow, it's still raining uh all right where we gotta go the black shroud Oh, yeah, put on our new, um, what is it, the new leggings? No, where? Here we go. There we go. Yeah. Is there aught I can assist you with, miss? 
The Enterprise? You speak of Master Garland's ship, yes? I, I needn't refer to the records. I know that that airship was sighted overhead five years ago, clearly bound for Corthus. What became of it after that, I cannot say. If you wish to know more, pray speak with Richard the Fulton Spear. He was on duty that day and saw it with his own eyes. I am unsure what it is you hope to accomplish, though. Even should you locate the airship, would you need a man of Master Garland's, Garland's caliber to fly it? I hear tell me the machinery is friend, friendly ship complex. Alright. Uh, should be right. Holy crap. Oh, that's a that's a fate. Don't need to do that. Alright, everybody, after we uh, turn this quest in right here, I'll go ahead and call it an episode. Oh. Oh, I was going to say, please don't tell me we're going to talk to that axe dude again. Fate join. No thanks. All right. You have come in search of Vorderfot, then well must you, for you have found him. Indeed, I have served as a whaler for many years, since before the great show snows came to Corthus. What exactly is this about? Ah, the final flight of the Enterprise. I do indeed remember that day. Let's stop moving. <clears throat> Fate failed. Bullshit. I didn't even want to participate in it. Alright, everyone. Thank you all so very much for watching. As always, please be sure to smack that like button in the face. Subscribe if you haven't. And keep on supporting out. I will see you all in the next one. Stay safe out there, everyone. Have a good day.